Hi guys, welcome to this video and in this video I'll be showing you my third application I built during the 100 days of code challenge. Now the application is a blog app. Um, you can see it right here. So I built this application with Vue, Vuetify for the front end. Then for the RESTful API, I built it with Node.js and MongoDB for the database. Okay, so you can see it right here, it has a dark and light theme. So if I toggle this like this, this is a light theme, toggle it like this, and this is the dark theme. Now we can see it's just a simple blog application. It also has an ad admin panel, which I'll be showing you soon. So let me click one of the blog posts here, for example. And we can see this nice loading effect as well. And one thing I love about what I built is that if you are a programmer and you want to create a blog application that you want to use to like teach and show some sample code, you can as well include it. And you can see this big text over here. It has a nice visible editor. So let's see how it looks in light theme as well, like this. Can we see this? And also go back as well. Okay, can we see the loading effects that we have when we first come in? The skeleton loading effect is all done by Beautify. Now this is the pagination as well. You can see um, the rest of other posts that we have. And I can go back here like that. Those are the posts that we have. So let me show you one of these posts. For example, this is code sample. This is a PHP code and the class. And you can see the um, constructor and stuff like that. So you can use this as if you are a programmer you can use this and you can deploy this and use it for your application and this application is actually open source so you can, i'll leave the link down below so you can as well see it and use it for your project feel free to do so okay now so let me show you the admin panel so i have to go to slash admin like this slash admin and I built this with I built this also using Nox. Sorry, I didn't mention it earlier. I built it with Nox too as well for server side rendering so that um we can be indexed by Google easily because of ses, um, SEO. So now let me put in my email. So my email is here again. One at okay, first of all, let me show you what it is when um validation error. So once I hit the login, we can see tell us enter email. So if I put in like that, you can see do validation at gmail.com. And let me put the wrong password. I just want to show you how it is for a wrong password. You can see we don't recognize this email, we don't recognize this password. Okay, so let me put the right password now. Login. And I know you've seen the app, it's it's loading like you you believe that it's slow no it's not slow like i put a middleware not middleware for us to experience how the app will behave on a slow network because i believe that you should have like a feedback for user experience when the app is kind of slow on network you should give a user a feedback then user okay be patient there's something going on in the background so i have to use a middleware to simulate that Okay, now this is the dashboard, this is the admin panel that we have here. You can see posts 100 and we have, like when you have more posts to increase, you understand? Okay, now when we get, you can see the um, links that we have, the dashboard which are in currently, then the posts. Now this is the posts, like these are the posts that we have in our database. Like these are all the posts that we have in our database and can make it five perils like that and then we can make it ten perils why not then we can search through it can see okay i'm looking for the op can we see i'm looking for love title love title so it's going to give us everything pretty easily smart the data it was created the data was modified we can as well um fit it like that and fit it by the title like ascending on descending order Okay, so now for us to create a new blog post, we can hit the plus button right here. So I'll say learn JavaScript in 13 minutes, which is not possible. <laughs> I don't see if we can learn JavaScript within 30 minutes. Oh, before we do that, let me show you the 
effects of like when we try to uh -huh. so let me put it back there we we'll use that for that learn javascript in 30 minutes right okay so now you can say you can use a big um, kind of sense introduction to javascript right something like that and you can see you can learn javascript easily so if i can type so now let me show you um an example of how we can use like a sample code like a sample code an example of a sample code so let's click here and i can say okay if name equals reagan right and i can be like console.log hello reagan right then else can say console.log b let's use um we don't know you stuff like that and can we see this or oh, better still let's just use the, the semicolon and yeah, yeah we're supposed to be the back of it. Yeah. anyone ah uh, that suits okay now so we can just press it create And now we see it's loading, it's not slow, place it's not slow. So we can as well say, okay, we want to edit it. We can click on here to edit, and we can see the loading effect as well. You can see, um, maybe I'm making this a bit JavaScript. You can make it a little bit bigger here and put this and make it like that and press edit. We've updated it. So now let's check this out in the main page so now I'll go to the home and press open like this and it's loading so we can see now i'm gonna see it so we can see now learn javascript in 30 minutes and i'm not trying to click over it now boom can we see this very very nice i think <laughs> this backspace was to be before yeah no problem we can as well change it if you want to so we can see that we can use snippet of code here easily just using this which is absolutely beautiful okay so let's go back to the admin panel to show you a multi admin panel so now let's say we want to delete this post easily we can just press the delete icon here you can see and once we press delete it's gone forever like gone so now that is it and that is it for the application that built the energy of code challenge so um leave your comment down below if you want me to build a tutorial on this and oh before before that sorry before that um the api i built i built an api for it the api I built using node.js sps.js and mongodb i wrote an api for it a compressive api so if you want to use my api to build maybe a mobile app or maybe you want to build your own blog but you don't want to use some third party like firebase or maybe look look for an online database for you to use you can use my api you just have to have everything the all the instructions i'll leave the link to the github repo down below all the instructions for you to run my node.js server it's very easy like piece of cake just follow everything from a to z and also read my documentation like this documentation is i wrote it like properly so you can see if you want to get posts there's it here and user has pagination if you want to access pagination as well and if you want to manipulate the users code operations for them and also comments you can see i didn't put comments in the blogger because i felt that there's no need for me to put comments but if you want to put comments in, in yours in your own application you can as well because i created an endpoint for it so you can as well manipulate it from that endpoint so this is one of it then if you don't like this the way this documentation is looking i have another one in postman as well all the links are in the github repo i'll be leaving it down below so we can see this another one again this i think this this more detail with all the examples at the right side so 
you can just use this like use it if you want to use it for your next application it's free it's open source i leave it open source so you can go and get the source code okay that's it for now guys um if you like this tutorial if you like these videos if you like um the application i built and if you want me to be a tutorial on it then feel free to leave a comment down below um why i'm doing all this showing on my all the demo of my own days of code challenge is because i want to know like what app do you want me to build um doing the upcoming tutorials after i've demoed everything i think this is the second this is the second the last one is coming next week that will be the last um video uh the last app i built to manage the for code challenge so while i'm doing all this i just want you guys to um see all the apps i've built and okay so i i like i love this one and i want you to build a tutorial on it so i'll just from there start the tutorials fully okay that's it guys um don't forget to hit the subscribe button don't forget to hit the like button to see more of my content bye guys